everyone. My name is Jessica. I have been uh, working full time as a data analyst for about three years now. And I've got my undergrad degree at Miami University in Ohio in business analytics. And um, right now I am still doing data analytical work, but it's more on a consulting kind. So what kind of um, project that we get, I'm the person who I um, I'm part of the team that are having the role of solving the problem. So right now I am not only working as a data analytics, but also as a part-time MBA student. Um, and yes, that's it. Great, thank you so much, Jessica, for sharing your background. So you're doing both MBA and your data uh, analyst job at the same time. How easy or how difficult is it to manage both things and how do you do it? It's actually not really uh, hard because uh, my MBA courses, it is having, we have concentrations. Uh, the course is not only about the uh, MBA management uh, courses, but also um, I have a concentration on business analytics. So a lot of my courses are um, data driven, data scientist, machine learning um, related. So it's actually helping my work. And my work is also helping me to see what other problems I need to solve. And that's actually um, helping back to my study. So it's actually, for my scenario, it's not hard at all. It's helping each other and it's actually making my life easier than, than before I joined, before I have the school. That is, that is great. Awesome. What's the <laughs> role of a data analyst? Okay. Um, so my data analytics role, actually it is, um, uh, it depends on what kind of um, project that I'm doing. So think back on what, I, what kind of project I've had before. Um, I've had projects, for example, is to analyze, is to analysis uh, web page traffic. That's a very great example. For that project, I am um, looking back to the, uh, the, the website has a cookie first, so I am looking back to the, 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 the data that is collected by the cookie and we see what kind of people are logging into our website, what kind of people are, um, are more likely to, to be a return customer versus just to, they visit us one time and then leave. What kind of people, is there more men or is there more women to join a website? What kind of region having more people interested in that? So all those kind of, um, all those kind of uh, information I had to an analysis in the data and um, uh, clean the data, make some insight out of it, and then present it to make it like a very readable and clear visualization and put it on a dashboard or report so that the people who, who's actually making decisions can make some great decisions based on the information I provide. So that is, um, that is one of the projects that I've worked on. Um, another great example about my project is there was also another one that I was, uh, my team was supporting the sales team, which um, I will leave some confidential information here. But what we actually did is we support the sales team who needs to provide um, the uh, pricing quote for customer on a very fast basis. So that anal analysis is like what kind of, what kind of quote how about how much money you should quote for certain kind of customer and for this kind of quote how can we um how can we generate generalize a little bit because the project was on a very fast basis so the project later on become how can we generalize this information to actually can we see a pattern this kind of customer is more likely to have about this range of pricing quote so that makes the people's working very uh, a bit faster than uh, than before, and knowing the patterns has also helping people to make uh, make a less manual error than they they used to before. So that's a uh, that's a two typical example of um uh, of the project that that I've done. Awesome, that's really good to know. So Jessica, when you work as a data analyst, do you just have to work by yourself or do you work with multiple teams? So what's the typical day of a data analyst? It's actually a combination of both. Uh, when I am analyzing the data, the analyzing part, I will work by myself. Um, 
because um, for sure that's an, an analysis part and I want to be quiet, for example. Um, um, but after that, after I have done some analysis part uh, already, I really want to um, maybe have it talked about with a co-worker of mine. And this co-worker might be another analyst, uh, anal uh, analyst on my team. And that would be a great time for me to show him, the, hey, see, this is what I found, what do you think? So that is the collaborative part after my work. And um, of course, there's a very important thing to keep in mind of is that we are working in a organization, we're working in a very big company. So what is the kind of impact of our work could have to other team? So there's a kind of a cross-functional area that we need to keep in mind of. So the next level of after that is that this will be a, this, this is the time that after you have, you know, in sync with your partner, your, your coworkers or your analyst coworkers, that's the time that you will want to um, maybe talk to your manager or just schedule a meeting with the people from other groups and say, hey, this is, this is what we found, this is what we think. And um, would, um, just talk about it with other group cross-functionally. So typical day of a data analyst, I would say um, about 80%, 70 to 80% of the work is your own data. And rest of the time, most of that I would say is about, you know, talking with the, uh, talking, talking with your coworkers to, to get some insight from him and uh, help each other and get each other on the same page. Everyone on the same page is always very important. If it's in sync, if it's, if, if um, people are out of sync, it always correct, it always cause a lot of um, issue later on, always. Um, and the last time is that a very small part of the time will be talking, get us to the, uh, uh, to the cross-functional teams. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, that's really, really good to know. Thank you so much. And what's the fun part of your job? The fun part is really, you f it's really the, f the part that I found something. It's really the data is always big and messy and um, horrifying to look at. Um, but after, as soon as every time I found something, uh, some, some insightful information from the data, that's, that, that makes all the effort worth it. And sometimes the data is, uh, sometimes if the project is about solving a problem, the moment that the problem is solved is very rewarding, very rewarding. Um, the fun part, I would just say the analyzing deep, deep diving part in general, where the problem solving moment is the reward. That's great. That's really good. To